I find it so interesting that three days ago, the Lord gave me uh, an idea to do a video about ASMR. He gave me all the details and two days later, I go on ask.com and I see that one of the first articles with an image that they display is all about ASMR, what it is, how it helps people de-stress, etc., etc. And I'm like, God, your timing's perfect. And just imagine if I made that video a few days ago when you gave it to me instead of waiting later because of my own timing um, how appropriate it would be so just a suggestion to some of you if god is whispering things in your ear do them as soon as he gives them to you because there is a timing and purpose for all of that this video is about why i no longer watch ASMR videos and it wasn't as if I was a junkie for those videos I saw quite a few of them in a certain time I, I didn't like go to them regularly it was like one season of my life I was checking a lot of them out and different uh, women mostly women who put out these videos because of what my body was experiencing as I listened to these videos, being already ultra sensitive and highly empathic, um, a sacred sensorial, being that and listening to this and watching these videos, I had to stop because the Lord began to show me what it does not only to the body but in the spiritual realm there are a lot of physiological responses that the body experiences as it reacts to listening to asmr some of those things mentioned are tingling uh, uh, physical sensations uh, releasing some sort of endorphin chemicals in your body etc etc but let's just say when i was listening to it because of my personal nature i was experiencing way more than all of the things that they say oh you might experience this or you might experience that i was experiencing all of it and more And the Lord was showing me in the spiritual realm, what ASMR does is it opens up these portals to another dimension. And he said that these are door openers specifically to pornography. And one may argue, especially a non-believer, they'll argue, oh, you are just against these things that make someone feel good, that make someone feel better during their day you're trying to take away uh, a natural experience whatever excuse that non-believers and maybe some believers alike can come up with it's up to you to decide i mean god gives all of us choice that's one of the great beauties about him he gives us choices to decide which way we want to go and whether we want to do this or do that everyone's on their personal journey i accept that but I am explaining to you what the Lord revealed to me of what these videos do. And you can decide to listen, not listen, or forget about the whole thing. But he showed me, even though you may not be watching someone making out on screen, when you're listening to these soft noises and these sounds and watching these beautiful beautiful images and video that they are all made to lure they're all made to entice and they're to entice you to keep watching keep listening and to 
almost get addicted to get hooked to want more and when you want more i mean the body the soul is created to want more that's why god talks about increase and multiplication and uh having more all throughout the bible he gives that as a natural state for man so when men and women want more they do above what they've been doing because they're seeking more so if you start at one level which is a base level soon enough this base level will not satisfy you you'll have to go higher and higher and do more and more to get the same sort of satisfaction anyone who was addicted to drugs can tell you that and anyone who was addicted to porn can tell you that as well and so he showed me that this is a door open to porn and it is almost like watching soft porn because the women are um, very provocatively and beautifully dressed and they speak with such sensuality and softness and one would say well that's being feminine but this is a specific specific purpose in using this femininity it's not being soft and sweet and subtle in the nature it's to do it to produce to produce a sensation in your body that is like making love to you without touching you it is so sensual and so sacred that experiencing that with a stranger it just goes beyond in certain levels because i gave us this sensual intimate sexualness to experience with one person intimately in person or uh, um, with that person only not to be shared with a plethora of people or accounts or channels and people you have no connectivity with so you having these experiences with no physical person there but just a virtual environment opens you up to other virtual environments being open to having more and more essential experiences without having a physical person present which is similar to pornography and if you study pornography which is a huge problem because it is a billion dollar business and if you Think about there's 7 billion people in the world and only a portion of them have access to technology and uh, at least one third of the most popular religions are Christian. And so if you do the math, there are some Christians that do watch pornography. And this is no big secret. There are chosen Christian ministers that talk about pornography and how it is a huge problem in the church. Huge problem, but no one's talking about it. It's so interesting. It's a huge problem and the church is supposed to address problems of the community, but nobody wants to talk about pornography except for these few chosen ministers. My husband gave me some of the material in his uh, studies of it. I found out how intricate and, and big this problem is. If you study the path of pornography, the path that pornography 
takes a person to reach that higher and higher level of satisfaction and release of these chemicals mentally and physically it starts with soft porn maybe ASMR maybe some kind of um, erotic novel or maybe some soft porn on the screen and then it goes into hard porn and then it goes into I think it's called sadistic some kind of sexual perversion and then it goes into violence i mean it's just a door opener from one stage to the next this is how the enemy works and the world doesn't understand that and that is why when the world promotes something i have to examine it with a careful eye it says test every spirit you know why because they're not led by the god of the heaven and earth they're led of the god of this world and when they're led of the god of this world the god of this world is going to promote those ungodly things on his agenda and so promoting of those things you'll see them all over the media they they may willingly or unwillingly knowingly or unknowingly knowingly be under this type of influence when you've been extracted from that worldly system and transformed and transferred into another kingdom the heavenly kingdom the kingdom of heaven which Matthew talks about then you understand that you're not moved by the ways of other nations for God has said do not follow the ways of other nations do not take their culture do not take their nature do not follow after them come out of them and follow after the Lord repent and turn around and come after him you may think oh it's just a video oh it's just some sounds but those things lead to other things they are door openers portals to other realms that the Lord did not design for us so you can test the waters if you want but if you are a believer and you're serious about living in God's kingdom and not being influenced by other nations by the world by the media then stay away from it take it from someone who is ultra sensitive and highly empathic a sacred sensorial take it from me these things do more to your body and your soul and your spirit than you realize